Welcome back to another episode of G.I. Joe War and Cobra Gameplay as we explore the... Oh, lovely. We got a download already. But anyway, as we continue exploring this new mobile game. Now, as I've mentioned before, if you're under the age of 13, please don't stick around. Go watch another video. Go somewhere else because this is an adult 13 plus channel only. And yeah, it's got to be that way. So anyway... Let's get back to where we left off. We just kind of got, 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 gone through uh, G.I. Joe and Cobra tutorials. Now it looks like Roadblock is going to lead us into possibly how to fight maybe other groups, other people. I don't know. Let's find out. Am I recording? I am. Okay, good. Great work, work finding her hideout. Let's bust. Notific I turned notifications off. Come on, quit it, you. Great work finding her hideout. Let's bust in and kick him where it hurts. Gojo. Okay, so, looks like we're going to tap on the Baroness. Looks like you are the right person for the job. When you're ready, crush those snakes. Hey, in all the chaos, I didn't have a chance to catch your code name. What is, look at that. I'm finally going to get to choose a name. That's what I was wanting to do yesterday. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Claim my name to fame, right? Input name. Any guesses what it might just be? I hope no one took it yet. Boom. One. Two. Level two. I got a maximum HQ level of 20. Uh, max AP increase of one. And AP increase. Base AP increase of zero. That stinks. It says open now. There's a chest open. Uh, cargo. Ooh, I have upped my vamp by plus six. I don't know what plus... And my rocket barrage of uh, conquests and roadblock plus one. Epic. Roadblock's epic. Two minutes speed up plus one. And ten credits. We're going to have to learn what all those are. At some point. Let's see. Watch video to re-roll. I'm not going to do that. We're going to exit. Okay, cool. We're here. Where's here? All right. Well, maybe it will take a minute just to kind of look over the game here and just see what's going on. And in the top left corner, the 02 represents my level. I figured that one out. My name is up there. Then there's like a rabbit. Player profile. What's this rabbit? It's these trophies. There we go. Uh, measurement of your success in battle. Unlocks new units by increasing your tier. So these are my tier levels. Well, exit. Not tier. Oh, right below that, I'm not going to tap that, but that looks like where we change between G.I. Joe and Cobra. Oh yeah, switch faction. I bumped it. You will change factions to Cobra. Any progress you will remain, and all of your building and cargo timers will continue to count down while you play. I can play actively both factions? I thought I had to switch back and forth. Only, wow, okay, kind of, that's kind of neat. We have some rupee-looking things up here. I have 325 of them. Let's tap that. Oh, it's minerals. Okay, the red rupees are minerals. Used to resupply units de defeated in battle and access locked map nodes. I can have 8,000, and I don't produce any per hour. Then we have the oil. I have 2,200. Used to upgrade and construct buildings in your city. <laughs> I turn notifications off, so apparently now it just says notification. It won't actually say what. That's good. Storage capacity is 8,000, and I'm going to be producing 210 per hour. I was notified last night several times that my oil was ready to harvest, or whatever terminology you want to use. We have gold bricks. Uh, credits. Used to level up unit and command cards. Earned for, These don't sound long enough. Earned from opening cargo shipments. Production per hour, 246? Why do I only have 115? The diamonds, I think this is what you can buy. With real money. Use diamonds to complete actions instantly. Yep, there it is. Get diamonds from missions, battles, and cargo shipments. So yeah, if you want to actually pay to try to advance your game quicker, you're going to buy diamonds and that's going to advance and pretty much knock off all, knock off all your timers. So we've got some things on the... <laughs> this notification is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to have to turn everything off like manually. So we've got some... Squares on the right side, rewards, events, tips, base, and cargo. And we got some squares on the left side. Free, ranking, alliance, logs, and squad. 
Um, well, let's type in ranking. Night type in. Let's look at it. Cool. So this is the current rankings of the game. I am absolutely nowhere near the top. Oh my goodness. 9,000? 9,000? I've got like 15. This came out yesterday. Did the people who played this last summer get to keep it or are there cheaters among us? I'm not accusing you. Then there's League. Cool. And Region. So this must be like my region. And Alliances. We're gonna, I'm gonna be creating an alliance, by the way. Wow, look at these alliances. There's... Cool. And if you want to join my alliance after I create it, I will give you further information on how to do that. So yeah, there's alliance. So, join an alliance. Join or create an alliance for <laughs> rewards and exclusive features. Access to special alliance store. Ooh. Chat with your alliance members. Donate and receive cards. Unlock a special resource. Participate in alliance wars. This sounds so much like Earth Wars. I'm wondering if they just kind of copied the game and put G.I. Joe stuff on top of it. I can join now. I'm not going to right now. Logs. What's the log say? Activity logs. Invasion one day. Invasion one day. If I tap on that. Black Brigade level one. Oh, are these people I can, uh, people I can go after? And it says two next to squad. Let's see. So there is Roadblock, the Vamp, Steel Battalion, the Conquest Missiles, and then all these cards that I have yet to find. If I tap on somebody, that looks like Gung Ho, maybe, or Bazooka. That may be Bazooka. Cool. There's a... There's a, so there's a Joes to be found, there are vehicles to be found, there are mm, groups to be found, maybe, and there are special attacks to be found, still. There's a lot to find. Um, let's see, rewards, we'll tap on that. Hey, day one, I was playing yesterday, let's collect both of those, apparently it's the uh, minerals and the oil, sweet. So rewards, what can we do with rewards? So apparently every day you play the game, you can collect a reward. It's kind of neat because two days, 11 hours remaining. Snake Eye, well, we'll get into that. So anyway, it looks like, unlike other games, you can collect the rewards as long as you play, but you maybe didn't collect them that day. That's cool. Um, so 30 day rewards, here's a listing. Here's a visual show of all their different reward rewards. Streak rewards. Hey, day one and today I'm going to collect some diamonds. When you tap one, you get them both. How neat. Uh, the news. So this is the news screen and mail. I've got mail? Is this Joe mail? I don't know. So wow, there's like, it must be some events here. So you can follow them on social media, face the game and the company, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and email, I think. I'm not sure how you follow email. Uh, subscribe to your to our email. You link and you get something that looks like. No, we're not going to do that right now. And then uh, the war is worldwide. Five days, 12 hours remaining. And Snake Eyes. I'm curious what this Snake Eyes, the original commando, is. Two days, 11 hours. Snake Eyes, the original commando. Although much of his past is deemed classified, Snake Eyes is the most devastating melee attacker on the G.I. Joe team. Wow. With his trusted wolf Timber by his side, Snake Eyes can tear through defending troops and heroes with his sword, stunning anything left standing. Rank, 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 rank. Okay, cool. Silent Strike event. Oh, the start date was January 17th, before the game was officially released. I'm kind of curious how that can happen. How can they start an event before the game is out? And then the end date is January 23rd. I had probably better figure out how to get on top of this, because... It looks like we get a Snake Eyes, and how silly would I be to be a huge Joe fan and not get the Snake Eyes, you know? Don't miss the Silent Strike event for the chance to unlock even more Snake Eyes and War on Cobra content. 
I'm sure there must be going to be a tie into the Snake Eyes movie later in the year with this game. I bet there will be. I bet there will be. Let's see. The world is wars worldwide. Whether you've decided to fight for justice and peace along G.I. Joe or drive the world into a new order by any means necessary alongside Cobra, we'd like to say a quick thanks for becoming a member of our community. Check out the tips feature to earn some rewards as you complete early game objectives and look for active events that you can participate in to earn even more also a special thanks to our soft launch users aha who helped us make sure war on cobra was the best possible game it could be before worldwide launch we couldn't have done it without you so those people have been doing an event apparently or allowed in to an event uh the events there we go okay so this <laughs> buyout box <laughs> first thing i notice is buyout box i'm guessing if you tap that maybe you buy you get what you want yo pay to win pay to play now this is free to play forever so let's see events um boom events are a great way to acquire items and units yep and so it looks like uh, ends in one day it looks like I need three trophies and a hundred and twenty somethings. Skull coins. It says I can collect something. Let's collect it. Silver event. Oh, I earned the coins. That's what I get. Used to purchase event content. That's fascinating. Okay, I got 120. So if I get up to six, excuse me, six trophies, I'll get more. And so it's just, it looks like it's just pay, play, play, not pay, play, play, play. And it looks like all you get are coins. And then, uh, hmm. I'll figure out that later. Tips has one next to it. Build a radar. Build a radar dish and you collect 10 diamonds. I'll do that now. So it looks like maybe in here, um, yep, there it is. So these are like your quests. These are your things to get you diamonds. So collect an event reward. Okay, I'll collect 10 diamonds for that. Upgrade the HQ. We haven't done that yet. So it looks like tips is where we'll check them. So don't know why they named it tips. Let's look at cargo first. Ooh, let's see. Unlock, unlock, unlock. Bronze cargo shipment. Bronze cargo. Four hours, four hours. So I'm guessing if you tap unlock in four hours, I can come back and open it up. And maybe I can only do one at a time. I have battle cargo, six out of six, free cargo open. Let's tap the free cargo open and see what happens. Ooh, there we go. The chest. Got a rocket barrage. Plus one. Steel battalion. Plus one. It's never going to get old. Battle metal. Plus one. Ten credits. I'm sure these are all really awesome things. We'll know more later. Exit. And free cargo open again. Look at that. I'm getting all the good loot today. Battalion plus one. Rocket Barrage plus one. It's like all the same stuff. Five minute speed up plus one. And 13 credits. I hope those credits are worth something. All right, I've got to come back in four hours to open more free cargo. So I'm curious. Let's tap unlock on this first one. Bronze Cargo. Battle Tier 1. Cargo Shipment. Earn random unit or command cards and credits. So it looks like I spend credit maybe oh no I just sit and wait for four hours and then in four hours I can pick that up can I do all three of them nope I can only do one at a time unless I want to spend diamonds and if I spend diamonds then I can I can open up more of them I don't want to spend diamonds until I really know what diamonds are worth and what their value are and what they can really give you in the game so I'm not going to spend diamonds right now battle cargo Achieve objectives in battle to earn battle cargo. So maybe that's why I've got these three down here. I don't know. All right, let's look at the base. The cool loading screen is back. I love that screen. So this is my base. How pitiful it is. I have a power plant, a radar dish, and a, a gun turret, and a mineral thingy. And, you know, I think this is like the new modern day looking version of the flag. So everybody out there who collects the toys and you desperately are wanting a flag either for the new six inch figures or the rumored maybe new four inch figures. Think real hard and careful before you beg and beg. You might get this and 
I don't know if you're going to like this. My guess is this is the new stylized version of the flag. Cartoony looking. It doesn't look bad, but it definitely is not a, a good update. Cool. So that's my location. So that's the entire screen right there. Now, let's collect some oil. We'll tap on the, the oil, and look at that. I got a ton of oil. Okay, like 1,000 or 2,000. Well, if I tap on the minerals over here, level 1 mineral storage, I can look at it. I can upgrade it. I'm not going to upgrade it. The power, the power generator, same thing. I can look at it. Or I can upgrade it. The gun turret and the radar dish. Can I tap the... Oh, <laughs> headquarters is just the flag, and it's, apparently it's only the middle portion of the flag. It's not all of it. Cool, there's a conquest. Hey, there's a there's a little guy working on the conquest. Is that Slipstream? I wonder if that was Slipstream. That's kind of cool. That's a neat little detail. We'll look at the headquarters. Health is 744. DPS is 20.0. Experience, zero. Okay. Hey, did we see the store? Let's tap on the store. So the store... It was interesting because I noticed yesterday when I started playing the game that in the bottom left corner there was some sort of a... It was like a soldier, maybe it was a steel battalion icon with a countdown of 23 hours. So I thought that would still be around. I thought that may have been a store sale that I was going to talk about today. But apparently it wasn't any kind of a sale. So let's see. I could buy a mineral excavator and I might do that. So... Buy out box snake eyes. Earn special rewards and characters. Open now. Starter. Hey, there's a starter bundle. Jump in. Oh, maybe it, maybe maybe it was in here somewhere. Anyway, okay, let's go. So starter bundle. Uh, one left. I can only buy one. It's a starter. You get a gold cargo. Epic times two. Five hundred diamonds. Uh, oil fifteen thousand. I can't hold more than about. I don't know what I can hold. 15,000 minerals, 5,000 credits. Welcome pack, one left. We can get 500 diamonds, 20,000 oils, 20,000 minerals. This is really a jump start, isn't it? Wow, $2, 500 diamonds. Diamonds must not be worth a whole lot of money, but it must take a whole lot of diamonds to do something. For $2, the HQ upgrade offer. Get a 5-minute speed-up, 5 of them, 3 15-minute speed-ups, 1 30-minute speed-ups. I don't know what the speed-ups are. We'll have to look into that. 100 diamonds and 5,000 oil. I'm just saying all this stuff like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. Battle Tier Celebration Pack. There's like all these ones left. They're gonna, they're trying to hope we're going to pay a lot of money, and they're going to just ka-ching really right off the bat buying all these you know one one-time things. So in the Battle Tier Celebration Pack, 75 common. What are these? Oh, common cards can be upgraded to level 13. Rare cards, max level of 11. Epic cards, max level of 8. They're going down the rarer they get. Does that mean they're really super strong? 8 training manuals, speed up and rank up items to help improve your base and units. And 5 advanced training manuals, speed up and rank up... Okay. And credits can be used to purchase things to level up, it looks like. The large bundle. This is ongoing, and the extra large bundle is ongoing. At $25 and $50, it looks like you just get a pile of stuff. One gold cargo, 25 rare cards, 300 diamonds, 500,000 oil. What do you do with oil? 500,000 mineral and 1,000 credits. Wow, the popular one. One titanium cargo contains at least one epic card, 200 to 280 gold credits, and 60 star cards. Maybe that means random. Five epic cards, 600 diamonds, one million oil, one million minerals. I wonder if the oil and the minerals are like the energon and alloy in Earth Wars for Transformers. 5,000 credits. And that seems to be it. Hmm. Resources. Here's the diamonds. Five dollars for two hundred. Those starter packs seem to be a good deal. Uh, ten dollars for seven hundred and seventy. Twenty dollars for seventeen fifty. Fifty dollars for forty-five fifty. A hundred dollars for ninety-four fifty. And reserve oil. Thirty thousand for fifteen diamonds. 
Mineral Reserve, 30,000 for 15 diamonds, and Small Credits Pack, 300 for 60 diamonds. Cargo. So there we go. We can buy cargo shipments containers for diamonds. 250, 500, and 1,200. Defense. This looks like things I put out on the base. Tank traps, barracks, landmine, anti-tank turret, naval mine. Yeah, these are things that I'll be building and putting out on my base. Reach headquarters level 2. Support, same thing. It's going to be stuff I put out on my in my headquarters. Intelligence depot, mineral excavator, radar dish, oil rig. All right. And the eye, of course, will always tell us what this stuff is. That's cool. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, in the bottom left corner now, the sail thing. That's what I saw yesterday, but it had like a steel battalion um, person. What's my, uh, I think I looked at the squad. So, let's look, 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 take a look at Roadblock here. He's an epic tank. An epic tank. Tough, durable, and puts the safety of his team before his own. A frontline leader that won't go down easily. Wow, it's been 20 minutes already. So he's got some health. I can upgrade him. I need one more card. So apparently those cards you get through the cargo shipments or various other means if you buy things, apparently those are the cards that will allow you to upgrade. So in Roblox's case, you'll need three cards before you're allowed to even spend the 1,200 credits to upgrade him. I don't even have 12 credits. Or 1,200. I have 138. No time soon will I be up in a Roblox. But the vamp... I have enough card. I just need I need a level three HP uh, HQ. Let's see. What about Steel Battalion? I can upgrade the Steel Battalion. You know they don't even look like a battalion, do they? They just look like green shirts. Maybe they had to change the look of them as well as the name. So I've got nine cards and only five are required upgrade. And I'm guessing these are my main troops. Let's for fun. Let's upgrade it. Yes, sir. So they've been upgraded. More health, more damage. I didn't look, maybe. I need three more cards and 120 gold credits. Retaliation. So cool. Okay. I could up... I'm not going to up my rocket barrage right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. Cool. So there's a quick look around. We didn't really do anything of value except for just look at the screen and kind of look it over to see what's what. Collect some more oil. 25. How much can I hold? To capa 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 capacity is 8,000. If I get a million oil, where do I put that? Hmm. So maybe... Oh! Oh! My HQ gives me gold credits. 250. Okay, really? I'm producing 246 per hour. Okay. It's at this tail end here somewhere. That's, oh, that's storage. Okay, mineral storage. Oil rig. Oil depot. There we go. The oil depot right next to the uh, oil rig. Is that what that was again? Yeah, oil rig. So there. You upgrade your oil depot, you can store more oil. And you upgrade your mineral storage, and you can store more minerals. I know some of you out there are looking at me like, really? How could you have not known that? How's it, how's it taking this long to figure that out? Hey, it's a new game. And I don't play a lot of these types of games, so bear with me here. Cool. Okay, so... I've got my name, and I think that'll do it for today. Thank you for stopping by and watching, and I, I hope you enjoy these strange commentary-filled uh, G.I. Joe War on Cobra videos that I'll be popping out here and there. I think I'm going to play this game um, because in a, there's an event going on. I think I'm going to try and play this game for a little while. I'll pop out tomorrow. I'm going to make an alliance. I'll advertise it on Twitter, Instagram, a few of those places, and I'll put out, I'm going to put out another video tomorrow about this game, and it will have more about joining my alliance. So, but I think I'm going to play this. I only got um, two days and four hours, and knowing Earth Wars, since I'm a really low level, this could be a very difficult event. So I think I'm going to work on uh, on my own, getting that event done, 
build up this little bit, get to level 5 or 10. I don't know how long it takes to get to levels. Get up some levels, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.